There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. What was that? There was a lot of UFO news that I was supposed to fucking talk about. There's a lot of UFO hey, shit everyone. that was supposed to come up today when we recorded side stories, but we didn't do it. We didn't do it no. because we ended up talking a long time about that guy trying to get the other guy to masturbate him on the plane. Yeah. Oh, well, that was okay. We maybe didn't do, uh, yeah, we didn't get the stories, but that's okay. It's a fantastic right. episode of Side Stories. Anyway, yeah, that guy to this, he got jerked off on the plane. You tried to get him jerked off on the plane. No one liked it. No one and wanted to jerked do. off, Marcus, and then he was arrested by the Okay, so, so he first tried to get the guy next to him. Let me ask you, Coach, Comfort Plus, or First Class? Coach, buddy. Coach, buddy. <laughs> I mean, it could be this Comfort is a Coach plus. story. I don't know. I think someone who has, like, I, I don't know. It could go Comfort Plus. Because yeah. the man obviously had intentions of jerking off, and I think he may have we, pampered himself just he enough. He kept touching his knee. He kept doing a thing where he's like, we're, you're going to hear about this inside service today. But he kept, like, touching the knee. Well, you know how Marcus hand. listens to everything we do because he we just like, yell at him know, in real you know, life. Everything. I need it. I need it more sometimes. Can't miss One day. a syllable. Yeah. I can't really can't. miss a syllable of our lives. But, mm -hmm. yeah, he we kept touching we, it. Yeah. One, one, day, one day when Henry finally... Uh, just drives into oncoming traffic during an uncontrollable road rage incident. He almost it's died all this over. past Sunday. I'm going to miss him until I'll listen to more side stories. Well, I that's was not how I'm going to fucking die, dog. I'm, that's how I'm going to fucking die. What's going on, Logan? I am not going to fucking die that way. That somebody else is going to die at my hands, and I'm in jail. For being <laughs> well, that's, that's, and then you'll die that way, which I can't even imagine when they play Polish potato, how that's going to work out for you. Marcus, when you do die, we're going to do a thing called Pimp My Casket, right? Oh. And then thankfully for you, we're going to do nothing but the soundtrack. We're going to edit all of Roundtable, but only when Holden talks. And then we're going to play that <laughs> for Just your for corpse, your for your life. skeleton, for all time. All eternity, it cool. You can get one of those like nuclear batteries and bury yeah. it with me, so that way, if anyone opens up my grave, if they do grave robbing, they'll Mommy get wants... irradiated. <laughs> they're Mommy gonna fucking wants die. Funky? Mommy wants suck. <laughs> something with what this if generation put... of species. What if we put huge gray fake tits on Marcus's corpse? You've oh. already suggested this so many times. I so like many it. Times. Yeah, that's the, actually it's the first when time you're I'm alive hearing it. That must they be have... a side stories thing because this is the first time I'm hearing it, and I love it. We can get you fake tits now, bro. Nah, only on oh, a corpse. man, it's only good for when for the. It's only good for the corner. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's what it's for, man. Well, today, I love horny corner. Today, it is my mandate, Woo! ladies and gentlemen. It's my mandate, and I'm, I'm gonna sorry. be. I'd... Up I front. got the flu in one arm and I got the COVID booster in the other arm. I'm literally, you're watching me slide into non-existence. Uh -huh. Over this next hour, you're just going to watch me like. Yeah. I yep, yep. costumes now. Yeah. No, and, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with everybody. Uh, I definitely uh, celebrated Halloween on Woo! Halloween proper last night. Uh, therefore, this is going to be, it's. I would say that these are hungover choices. That's I what I like, videos. though. Oh, we yeah. all like that. Yeah. Um, Henry and hey. I, this is actually a rare situation for Marcus to be in. Yeah. I like it. I like it when he's the hungover one. Normally, yeah. he's staring at two fine. fat hungover people, and we're like, look, <laughs> tell us everything that's right. Um, wish my husband Mark a happy birthday from – I can't get to the rest of your statement. So. Happy birthday. I don't know Mark. who – I don't know Mark, whoever Mark. you are. You're someone's husband. Happy birthday. The scroll went past and you're all like, and I try to say, oh, I can't go down the scroll. And you're all like, okay, boomer. And guess what, man? I can't go down the scroll. And I'm yeah, not a boomer. I'm 37 no. years old. Okay. Wow. I'm an elder millennial. That's okay. right. Marcus, I'm excited to see the hungover mind of Mr. Yeah. Marcus Parks. I think this first one is going to set the tone for the rest of the stream. So let's just, let's check it also, out. Also, I'm just realizing this is not piss from the last fucking it stream. That, like this. <laughs> this is, this is LaCroix. And sugar free rock star. Um, <laughs> also, man, Marcus, Marcus we were both now? fucking Spider Man this weekend. That's the other thing. We were both Spider Man. It was so cool. It was awesome because I didn't see any, I didn't look at Instagram all day on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So I didn't see that Henry was Spider Man on Saturday. I went to Party City at 3 p.m. on Halloween and somehow managed to find uh, the last Spider Man costume. And I put it on, and I got to tell you, I wore it actually most of the day. I wore it's it to awesome. walk the. I wore it to walk the dog. It's like I wore too. it longer than necessary. <laughs>
I, like I walked the dog in my Spider-Man costume. You know, I wore it for a little while after we got home from the Ooh, show that we kiss? went to. Did you guys kiss upside down? You and your wife? I, I, that would have been very difficult. I'm limber, but not a balanceful man. Okay. Oh, man. you don't got to be, man. Except for but when yeah. it comes to life and work, don't you have perfect balance? I have a perfect balance. Perfect Let's, I actually balance. don't think that that is actually, I don't think that's perfect. No, it's, it's really bad. Well, speaking of good balance. Okay. Let's see this uh, orangutan oh. balance. <laughs> oh my God, can he do it? <laughs> this orangutan is more talented than me and Kessel. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I love this guy. He's, he's got his little Neil Young thing going on. Yeah. Well, that's, good for him. That sets the tone for but the now, rest of the stream. The question is, <laughs> like, all good, like all good harmonica players, he looked as if he was sad and had yeah. deep trauma and was simply trying to play the harmonica to please the few amount of people that might still like him. Yeah. So I think there's something. Is harmonica People the love Neil instrument? Young. People love no, Neil. I know they love Neil Young. I'm just saying, is harmonica a sad man's instrument? Because oh. I feel like it can, I mean, you can be like your Paul Butterfield, you can kind mm. of like get a little bit upbeat with it. Yeah. I feel like for the most part, the harmonica is you're on the road, everyone's left you, your favorite cow you used to have sex with, you had to eat it. Yeah. It's just a hard time. I don't know. Was there, do you, did you ever feel like a sort of sadness from Blues Traveler? Underlying oh, misery? I felt a triumphant because I looked at John Popper. <laughs> And well, I was just disease. like, I want to be there. I want to be wh where he does because he's obviously getting his dick sucked and he's fucking he's the lead singer of a fucking a blues traveler. I think his dick is always <laughs> wet, but I don't think he gets his dick sucked. But but women are more, but people that are attracted to men, I think, are more gi of giving. We're allow, we allow for more, right? Like, yeah. we, I think that John Popper got a lot of groupies because they're just, there's somebody out there for you. I'm I sure it's not that. It's just the physical nature of having sex on a on a tour bus with all your other bandmates around, and yeah. then you know when John that's where you pops, got the curtain. It's a, it's a sound. Yeah, but yeah. And honestly, band members. Exactly. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to group fuck. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. You're if the, I don't know if that it. applies for the blues travelers. <laughs> I don't know, man. But also, maybe the thing like... about <laughs> think about harmonicas too, man. It strengthens all your fucking pussy eating muscles. Yeah, right? yeah them... that's true. <coughs> what do you need a would... water, Marcus? I got a water. I got a water. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. But you should be able to. It, it makes you stronger. Like, you get, cause especially when you have to do like to the other side, because every once in a while, a woman's got a real wide one, and you gotta yeah. you gotta yeah. get all the way over to the other side. And though well, you're supposed to, and you're supposed to lick it before you do. Uh, you're supposed to lick your harmonica to get a taste for it. You do lick it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, I don't want to think of the blues travelers, uh, blues travelers, as an entity having sex with anybody. Um, I would think, you know, what I think, a classic '90s Limp Biscuit. Any case, I could watch Popper Wes get a... down. Wes is yeah. pretty yeah. freaking cool. All I see in the chat is John Popper is a miserable sack of shit. <laughs> I wonder what he did. What did he well, do? Is he mean? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. It's just one of those things with the harmonica <laughs> <guys>. <laughs> <laughs> and they, open up, they open up their jacket and then they got the the harmonicas in there and we're You're also like, a salesman. Yeah, but you don't sell and they it have... because who wants your spit filled harmonica? Also, a harmonica player who throws the harmonica in the crowd and they're like, I can't believe I got it. They're showering in their saliva. But also, this is you not get to good. wear that vest, the harmonica vest that they wear that's kind of like a rabbi like Talmud thing, but yeah. it's got harmonicas in it. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. I just you want like. Yeah. Go ahead. I just say I would prefer a vest full of bullets if it had the bullets. Wow. I think that's a cool look. Wow. It is cool. I do like uh, it. Wow. On John Popper's uh, Wikipedia page, he, these are the uh, personal life. And maybe this does shed some light on John uh -oh. Popper's miserable sack of shit. Well, no, it's, it's interesting. Under personal life, the subheadings are weapons collecting, <laughs> politics, religion, it's never legal, legal Bro, trouble. Ooh, yeah, 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 that's all. I don't want any of these chapters <laughs> in my on politics. And finally, online controversy. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> See, wait, extreme wait, libertarian wait is what I'm hearing, which is kind of interesting. Uh -huh. When uh, did all of this happen? When? What uh, online oh my controversy? God. You are. Extremely correct. Popper is a member of the Libertarian Party. Okay. okay. Which you um, have to be a lot to exist. say you are. To say that you are is interesting. But it oh, can't wow. exist. No, Big no, supporter of Ron Paul. Oh, okay. Played a uh, short set at Ron Paul's We Are the Future rally. Do you know that Ron Paul is actually short for LeBron Paul? 
that would have <laughs> been actually nice. really the re- the revel uh, love Lucian. Revolution. Uh-huh. That was the Ron Paul revolution. Uh huh. He's a Catholic. Oh. oh, legal trouble's fine. He was arrested for marijuana possession. That's the best in part. 2003. That's, yeah. yeah, that's oh, awesome. cool. All right. Yeah, uh, he's a rock and roll guy. <laughs> I kind of ve- like him now. <laughs> his vehicle also had a stash of hidden compartments, which contained four rifles, nine handguns, a, a switchblade, a taser, a set of brass knuckles, and night vision goggles. Honestly, he's a big boy. He's a big guy. He needs those things. He can't but this like, is that, fight. It's a lot but this for a is man 2003. with 15 harmonicas. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Because remember in 1999, he had a quadruple bypass because oh he almost died. And you remember, he now he's uh, skinny, skinny fat. Yeah, he's skinny fat. What are you going to do, though? Al Roper, too, man. What are you gonna, they did for health. Oh, good for yeah. him. All right. But well, yeah, he can have guns. I don't even mind him having guns. As long as, but then people are saying he's kind of an asshole. Being yeah. an asshole is a problem. Like, if you want your 15 guns, I don't know why you need it because you're traveling with the blues. Not, it's not a militia. You're bringing the blues <laughs> right. everywhere. Like, it's like fun to, to like play the blues. You play a lot of like bluegrass yeah. festivals and shit. Now, yeah. speaking of music, let's get into a little bit. Let's let's listen to some music. This is a song called. Called Oh You Beautiful O by Wiley. Okay. Yeah. Just a guy named Wiley. You remember the guy, guy named Wiley? Gonna... It's a puppet named Wiley. Oh my god. This is Marcus all over. <laughs> you beautiful O, you great big beautiful O. Yeah, this is kind of. I would say my mental state today. This. Yeah, that's how I feel. I feel the same. <laughs> is it all just about the, the letter O? Bacon Biddle Biddies, I never bought the crossbow because it's two hundred twenty five hundred dollars and I still have to go get training first. I promised my beautiful wife that I will train weapons first and then purchase weapons. Secretly. I never needed music to get past this. I can listen to the whole alphabet by this guy. But nobody cared about my tribute to P last week. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's very good, Marcus. I like that video quite a bit. I thought you might. It's from a, a, a weird children's show on Dallas Public Access called Peppermint Park. There's oh. a great uh, YouTube channel called Cringe Vision, uh, which has a lot, a lot of videos from Peppermint Park. But that's my p- personal favorite. Okay, fantastic. I like that. Also, yeah. I, I just realized somebody sent me a, uh, a message that Carla Homolka, apparently, did you guys know after she was released, she, she worked at a, at a middle school for a little while? For oh, a we're going we're gonna to cover it. a bunch uh, of people were upset. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, yeah. We're going to cover it this week. We're going to be doing the aftermath of uh, oh, Carla great. Homolka, and we're going to mm-hmm. be doing some stuff afterwards, tying into the idea of what's it like to live with a bad reputation. That's right. <laughs> oh, I got a bad <laughs> reputation. Well, let's move on to this. That's this Joan next Jett. One. Joan Jett's bad reputation, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Joan She's yeah. hot, man. She's still looking good. No, 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 with bad reputation. Yeah, it was a song that uh, new ge- yeah, so on Carly so used to sing that in um, karaoke all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah I like had a Carly. specific song. You remember yeah. that? Like, we would do that. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. Mine was mine was always space oddity. Fucking killed still, it. I wanted to karaoke again. Ragged old flag. That's mine. I think I heard you did cocaine. Um, the song cocaine. Yeah. Mm, Wait a no, second. Was I that from Channel Zero? Was that from Channel Zero? Was awesome. Also in Peppermint mm. Park. Have you ever like you don't know you don't like horror shows? Do you like horror television shows? No. Nah. Either one of you? Yeah, of course. Channel Zero is fantastic. Oh yes, cool. of course. I know that. Yeah, I'm trying yeah, to find the lyrics for Ragged Old Flag. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's out there. Yeah, it is. Well, let's check out this next video. This next video is, okay, one of my favorite videos on the entire internet is the pig wow. calling contest from yes. the yeah. Iowa State Fair. Love yes. it so much. All all the different variations on it. 
This is so far the best variation really? I've ever seen. This is like, this is the one, this ends all pig calling contest videos. This is pig calling contest goes well, metal. We've seen the older gal, the larger gal. We've seen the kid. Mm -hmm. Those this were is all really the, good. Well, these are all the same people that you've seen before. Okay. But Remix. in a new style. Remix. Since um, since you guys are clapping, can I can I get a clap? Like a steady clap? Like. Well, actually, actually that's a hard demand for a group of white. It is. That guy just doesn't know I can't do that. This is just a warm up. Man, people. <laughs> oh, that's primus. <laughs> that's very primus. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> this is our culture. Fantastic. This is what we bring to the table. And you know, it's, it's, that's the large cup of tea. Yeah, man, you should never pour rock star into a glass. <laughs> I love the yeah, that was the bass yeah. pickup, yeah. Cannibal Corp bass yeah. Dude, this guy's like a lot of guitars. There she is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and a lot of woman. That's a lot of champion right there. I'm just the luckiest dang guy and stuff you can't <laughs> That's like straight up death metal right there. That's like it's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you know this chick is fun though. She's a good thing. Yeah. I don't oh, yeah. know. Yeah. And she oh, might she be. Right. <laughs> no, she, she might is. be. Problem. She is. I know. No, I know. She, she, she might be an issue to some yeah. people. There's some people that might be like. She's one of those people who be like, people love me or they hate me. Uh huh. And they're like, I think they hate you. <laughs> yeah. I think it's me. No, I, I grew up with these women. These are comfortable. <laughs> yeah, they're very comfortable. Wait, what do you mean comfortable women? When I was a kid, my mom always had girlfriends over like that were their size, and I used to be like, "Hey, how are you?" Oh, oh you talking oh. about gripping on them? Yeah, <laughs> when I was a yeah, child, gripping on her. Yeah, it's very sweet. That's not. I'm talking about her. I'm talking about her attitude. Uh, I'm talking so about she what she like. You are inferring. You're being te technically. You're being slightly sizes and racist. What are you talking about sizes? I didn't say anything about her body. Right? No. I think her body is just a little bit of time to tell certain political she... views based upon physical presentation that you have not clarified nor confirmed in any way whatsoever. I'm going to throw that to the chat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to throw that to the chat and see the chat, see if they side with me or not. Because you just she seem... just wants Again, you to eat it's... food and she's just going to be like one of those people where it's like, are you sure you're done? You're like, it's just I about am, but difficult. Then I, but you can't be. I would say, people. I would say she would be a good co worker, but a bad customer. Yeah, that if she I is already see. on your side, if she's yeah. on your side, she's a good ally because of yeah. how much she really comes at it with. Yeah, you know I mean? how much energy <laughs> she comes at it with. Yeah. But if you're on the other side that. of it, yeah, no, she's gonna come at you, and she's gonna come at you hard. People saying farm stock. Yeah, uh, she got a lot of people saying, uh, yeah, but say no, there, no one's picking sides. A lot of people saying she not. works hard. She goes to her fleet farm. She lives a great life. Yeah, she does. Let's go to Australia for our Let's next one. Go. Let's see some oh, nature. Yeah. Let's watch a nature video and to see just how uh, intimidating kangaroos truly are. Dude, they're scary, man. They are fucked up. You got to shoot a kangaroo Remember, in the head. <laughs> this is the one like, that was flying with Bundy. There's well, so much more human than I he's, thought. He's now matured. 
That's kind of cute. And he wants to be the dominant male. But he wants to kick his ass. They're so chill. Yeah, he just and what bows he's doing up. Now. It's kind of crazy how. Right it's amazing. You show me how big he is. Huh? He'll lean right back. He should be able to drive. <laughs> and he'll use that tail <laughs> as a spring. And he'll come forward. <laughs> and he will grab with his claws and try and pull me in. You up, and kick me with his feet. You can see. Oh. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why are you even trying to fight him? Why aren't they just this? Can we what is this guy doing? Because I feel like they should they belong with us. He is so Whoa, it's the now, fucking... for me, that was very interesting, that fight. He's doing his his like fucking fly press. Because he couldn't so have a go at me, he turned on his mate. And he actually could have <laughs> held that that other male down if he wanted to. Kick his ass, see bass. He let it go. Kick his ass! And I'm going to go down, and he'll come uh -oh. down. Oh. And right. that is the end of the conflict. And now they're Wait, did you start making out? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Wait a second, he just kangaroo. Jackson Galaxy that that rage <laughs> yeah, filled bro. kangaroo. All the way down. Yeah. Yeah, but, man. You know, it's, it's sad in Australia. They don't like the kangaroo, do that. They and they're seen, as the a, they're seen as very large vermin, from what I understand. Yeah, they're There's so a lot cute. of people, they view them as deer, because deer are all the same thing. But they're, you know, we ate them. They weren't very tasty. We did not really enjoy the taste of it. And I don't think a lot of people eat them unless you have to, like, subside no, off them. I don't think you useless. necessarily always eat yeah. them. But I remember when we went to Brisbane, and we went to the outdoor pen, like, we went to go see and hang out with the kangaroos. And they were cool, like, they just chill. They, like, sit like this. And then you can go sit next to him. But also, like, I feel like they, the big high-powered dudes weren't in there. Like, I think mm. they put they drop in a couple of the hyper aggro. Yeah, and you were like, so you, you went to go see the honks, and you're like, yeah. where are the honks? And then <laughs> where's like, the beefcakes? <laughs> yeah, where the beefcakes? Where's the Chippendales of this? Yeah. Want to see their fucking dicks and balls? <laughs> you know, like, but yeah, they would fucking cut your belly open. Did yeah, we dude. have? We had a uh, kangaroo with uh, with Simon. Right in uh in, in Sydney, yeah. Didn't yeah, he tell us that was like specifically? bad? didn't he tell us that was badly prepared kangaroo? Well, because apparently they traditionally we serve it cold. Place. Yeah, like we went to a hipster and they do serve it cold. Yeah. So it was like a cold kangaroo meat with uh, mustard on it, like a little whole grain mustard things on it. it was gross. Like, oh, but yeah, he said it was gross. But he also just said like we don't eat this shit. Yeah. It's like yeah. normally we eat fucking we eat hamburgers. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, and no, Captain it's... Jack. They are gamey, Sophia. It is gamey. It does sort, but I still think venison's much tastier. Yeah, well, venison yes. jerky is delicious. I don't My like, favorite jerky. I can't. I don't really like eating things that can stand on their hind legs. I, even though I know that you mostly use your tail in that, but I just feel like once you hit hind leg status, I'm not. Bi I don't need to eat a bear. Bipedal. You're not good, but yeah. No, just like I just you know them mm. and sharks. Like anything that I think you would actively kick the shit out of us. And then, yeah, like, you really shouldn't eat a killed. shark. I don't, like, there's no need for a whale or a shark or anything like that. Whale I is get, disgusting. It's, I, yeah, because you had it. You I had, had whale? It. I, in Iceland? Yeah, I, I, in Iceland, I had a... Um, it, it was like kind of an Icelandic platter. It yeah. was whale. So it's kind of... so. Pork. It is touristy, right? Like, yeah, you could, some, somewhat, yeah. I mean, it was whale... Yulta folk? Did you eat a little fairy? I might have. Uh, I fairy. ate a puffin. I ate a little... I ate a whale, puffin, and a uh, horse. Which are like three traditional Icelandic. Uh, I don't mind meals. horse. You had a fucking. You had a horse serial killer's awful. dinner. But I don't mind horse. Horse <laughs> steak can be good if it's prepared well. But again, I, it's like it's just tough what? meat. It's it, just not exactly the same. First of all, the, you triggered me. I understand you mean the bird, not my dog. No. When you say puffin, but that is but the puffin disgusting. looks gross. Puffin is, is awful. It was really so cute. awful. He's and then uh, our cute. our friend Ragnar afterwards, when I told him I had puffin, he told me a story about how when he was like eight years old, his grandfather took him out to the rocks out side of Reykjavik and made him because they used to hunt puffin all the time his grandfather made him like break the necks of a bunch of puffins cool <laughs> to like make him a man and he just said every time he was just yeah yeah I mean it's not like because they're pleasant. adorable little birds and they're like no 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 we have a family and you're like I have to <laughs> fucking kill. I have to like Michael Myers kill you I have to like <laughs> feel the bone yeah. Each yeah. time I get you, man. I used to do that same is, thing. Is though. Puffin? Someone asked in the chat. Is Puffin have like a fishy taste? 
Not really. It was. I, it's hard to explain what it's a bird, isn't it, it tasted like. Yeah, alligator was, tastes like. It's aquatic. It's chewy. But, but whale taste like an aquarium. Uh, like it's got that aquarium taste to it. What is that? Um, point? Puffin, like, and I, it was like raw puffin. Like it was just Why like this. Did you br- eat red. that? Yeah, I like trying new things. Yeah, I was in Iceland. You know, I like I like going to a, a place and trying like the traditional cuisine. I want to and... eat what you eat. That's yeah. my whole thing. I want to see what you eat. Eat McDonald's. <laughs> uh, yes, actually, but then they don't have a McDonald's there. Remember, we looked it up. They're hoity-toity in Reykjavik. They ran the hoity-toity. They do good for it. I wouldn't say they're hoity-toity because you know what? One of the best things to eat in Iceland, if you want to eat like an Icelander does, hot dogs. Their hot dogs are insanely good. They are you know, insanely good because they're lamb weird. hot dogs. If you go to Iceland, you eat they're lamb. Lamb, lamb hot dogs. Hot dogs. Lamb hot dogs. No, it's hot dogs fucking are sh- delicious. No, I don't think that that's appropriate for the lamb. Yeah, delicious. of course, man. Fuck the lambs, man. Fucking yeah. fight back if you want. Yeah. If you've you ever live, been around a fight, lamb, dude. if you ever been around a lamb or a sheep like I have when I was a kid, they're fucking awful animals. Terrible fucking animals. They're the he worst. He hates lambs. I he hate hates lambs. Them. I hate lambs. Right. I hate sheep. Fuck them all. That's why yeah, I love man. going to Iceland because it's the most delicious lamb in the world. I'm okay. so succulent. Well, man. he is hungover, and none of God, the words that he is saying, he knows. Honestly, he's saying. I'd fuck it. And also, I want to do a bit about this because people talk about how calamari is like pig butthole. You know what actually mm. just showed me is how delicious pig butthole is. Yeah, and I like that. I don't care what it is as long as it's delicious. It's not yeah, like it's okay. still got shit flakes on it. Yeah, no, they would scrub a lot of the shit flakes off. That's how they sell it. Yeah, exactly. And honestly, oh, the shit's actually mostly behind it. Yeah, you know that's what I mean. True. The shit's not living on the hole. Like it's just got it. Just it's a door. Yeah, like, it's yeah. Just, see, you can almost see the little turd with its headphones in living, uh, and it would of course play Bon Jovi's "Living on the Edge." Yeah, <laughs> living on a prayer. <laughs> yeah, living on a prayer. <laughs> living on the edge with Aerosmith. Yeah, yeah. Living, living on, on the edge. Living on the edge. Actually, it could go. Work, it works both ways. A little. T- it yeah. does. It's the same. It's the but same sentiment. I don't know if the poop would like to be excavated out of the body. Maybe the sewer is its heaven. Uh-huh. Or maybe it wants to stay inside. I think no. I think Poo Poo wants to go. I think okay. if Poo Poo had a mind, Poo Poo wants to go. Poo Poo wants to be expressed. It's like yeah. how foods technically are. They're meant to be eaten. Like the little cattles and stuff in there. They hang out. They love to be serve a purpose. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know well, that. you mentioned earlier my hangover, and uh, the the ukulele was definitely a part of it. This next video by uh, Mad of Cat Lady. you hungover or no, of your hangover? No, just the you feeling played? of it. Just the feeling of it. This okay. next video, it's a, cl- you know, Mad Cat Lady. She's a classic, you know, meow, meow, I am a cat. Okay. Um, El Autumn, what... where they're saying, no, calamari, there was a thing. Is they're discovering box calamari, like the stuff you get at the store that's just rings, yes. right? That stuff is probably a lot of times big pig butthole. It's when the squiggles, when you I can see, you want to see, they I need to be. I think that's a myth, Henry. Because I really don't think you can legally, legally, I don't think you're allowed to say something is something else in the grocery store. I think if Look it's big, but as long as you put what a simple that. world, Kissel. Yeah. No, as long as you like, put the asterisks and say it may contain then you pig anuses, it, really small on the box. But they don't. You're free and clear. They don't do that. So. What a simple, pure world Kissel lives, and I wish I could mm-hmm. even touch it for a second to live that innocent again. To Dang be here. like <laughs> Michael Jackson, but in his own mind, what he was yeah. like inside of his own mind, giving ice cream, being like, I'm just a child, I'm just a child, <laughs> and not the hungover 50-year-old oh, man no, Michael, that he became. Yeah, yeah. Michael, uh, he, he knew that he had a mean streak in him. No, mm-hmm. never. No, he's a child. Yeah. He's ignorant. <laughs> On this right. next video, this is the, ele- yeah, you know, the electricity of a hangover. When just everything just kind of feels wrong. This is, I'd say that this next video somewhat represents that. Okay. Let's check it yeah, out. Yeah, when you kind of feel anxious and upset. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Worst shopping cart ever. Yeah, I hate this. <laughs> it's trippy, man. Whoa, where's its face? But like, it's got one, but does it? Yeah, I feel this. I really do yeah. feel like this, yeah. It's like anxious, but also, but no one's coming for you. Yeah. I feel like this is just a recording of you and Carolina fighting. <laughs> I can't. No, this is anxiety personified. This does feel like I it, don't it's actually not get, there. I actually get, it's not, it's not, I, now it's very comforting in a way. 
It's just Being not there. Or the video. The video. Yeah. I do like you hungover, though. I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's, it's sniffing. I was under the impression more of a fart situation. Oh. Yeah, it's sniffing, and it's just weird. I mean, this is what would someone call, like, a digital test. Yeah. The, well, her YouTube channel is just full of these. Yeah. She's got much oh. better throughout the years. It's, just, sure it's very haunting, because it doesn't have any eyes or a mouth. Yeah. And then you get part the shadow of it really on good. the side. Because it looks like it's an interdimensional creature that's not finished rendering yet in our world. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like a 3D printer got unplugged, perhaps, <laughs> through. Sure. Yeah. It's really, people are saying their cats are all going insane. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even watch anything with horses or. Jerry goes nuts. Jerry hates horses, huh? Yeah, any animal. He freaked out at uh, at uh, the tiger from Frosted Freaks, Tony the Tiger. Oh, huh. my God. You should have seen him go after him. And it's just like, one day he'll knock that television off. I hope yeah. so. I, wish he, I just hope he stops running into traffic. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. What do you do? Honestly, I want to reach out to the chat. There's somebody out there. What do you do to train a dog to keep it from running outside of the house? Because Jerry has a distinct problem. that He lives a very nice life. You take very mm -hmm. good care mm -hmm. of Jerry. Why does he run out? What do you do? How do you train a dog to not have that impulse, especially a little willful dog like Jerry? Also, I must say this. This American Life, which I actually love, of course, um, NPR, you? they yeah, are the ones who started the conversation about pig assholes when it comes to Color Maori. Now, evidently, though, it's not true. Ah. And so they started this thing. It was in 2013. They'll say whatever, man. They're in the well, pocket of big calamari. I know what's fucking going on. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, you look at the supporters of NPR, and you see the big calamari is going to be one of those supporters. It's some guy with a big bib on just going, man, yeah. <laughs> I love calamari, though. The calamari is just in the same level as, like, if I have calamari in front of me, if I have dumplings in front of me, if I have chicken wings in front of me, I and shrimps, I will... I physically cannot stop myself from eating until they're gone for me. Yeah. Well, okay. So they do. Okay. You can't no just he, order Jerry's not afraid assholes. of them. All right. Frigo, no, Jerry's not afraid of them. He wants to actively kill them. But it is literally the pig asshole thing. People buy it. It's called bung, and it's hog rectum. And I guess it can look like calamari, but it's not marketed as calamari. You can oh, call it bung. Ah. He, they said, like, they, a lot of the people or some people are saying it might be you might want to take Jerry out more physically on a leash, which is difficult because he squiggles out of the little I hole. can't. I'm not taking him out on a leash. I'm just not doing it because like, he gets But off. that's what gives him, like, because then he gets the impulse to go outside because that's really what it is. They're curious because they when they go out and they sniff and stuff, it's like that's what mentally stimulates them. Yeah, it's like Your going answer. out and reading a newspaper for a dog. And he's going yeah. out and sniffing. I mean, sniffing anytime I walk, anytime uh, we walk Georgie, we always encourage a good sniff. Makes her happier. Yep. Well. As soon as Jerry stops trying to escape, then he'll, uh, be, he'll be able to go outside. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, but everyone else is saying, yeah, obviously you just got to put him in the room when you're trying to open the door. Yeah. 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 Most yeah. But, or, but and then also, can you, do people still like do corporal punishment on a dog? Like, all I that do kind of wish. Stuff? No. Do you remember those little, the, the rubber little yellow, like the, that one little gun that you could get the, with the little yellow pellets that barely hurt? Remember those little the little mm. guns? A you potato could... gun? Like a no, potato, a potato, like a gun. potato gun, a shooter? a yellow bullet. Oh, you have to gun. teach him to sit and stay, and he doesn't cross the door until you say so. But there's a lot of work. There's a lot yeah. of work. Yeah. I'm thinking super soaker. Got to soaker, hire a dog right? trainer. We hired, we hired someone to help us with Georgie, and it worked out yeah, great. Yeah. I'm going to get a super soaker. Yeah. Hit That's what that you do bit. with cats, man. It's also what you fucking do to Mormons. Fucking house, man. They're not around here, man. I've not seen a lot of fucking... I haven't had a Mormon or anything fucking knock well, on my door. There's a lot of religious people child. around where I am, but okay. Well, uh, let's actually this next video. Let's save no, this next video for the very end. For the very, okay. very end. Wow, and let's conclusion. let's skip on to uh, this one right here. This next video, I would, this is a slice of life video. Okay. Let's just see a, let's see a slice of life in a man. That I think he's Welsh. I think that's the language that he's speaking. Okay. Um, it could also be German. It's a very confusing language, <laughs> but thankfully they have subtitles. So this is just this is how this guy parks his car. Okay. Let's see a slice of life. Oh, <laughs> That's very German, man. And that is the meter of having been. Perfect. 
perfect. Dat doet hij met 6 centimeter, zie je al daar 3 centimeter en al daar 3 centimeter. Nee, dat, dat, dat is vondskoen. Heb ik je eraan gedaan, even een minuutje tegen te rijden met de auto. Hè? Omdat, 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 omdat ik, ik heb maar zoveel heen, daarmee moest ik ik. Ja? Ik mag toch tegen de muur rijden, hè, meneer. En dan neem ik je dat eraan gedaan, hè. En daar ook, hè. Man, Honestly, that's very cool. That is a true... I'm gonna do this in my Yo, fucking it's driveway. Great. It's great, you're gonna love this. Oh. This is just so... Because European, like, everything's just so small in Europe, too. Damn, it's let's very... See this. Very close fucking cut. <laughs> wow. And it's very. How is he coming at it from the angle? This guy knows what he's doing. That car is clean on either side. That's a miracle. Uh -huh. How do you get in there? Now watch it. This is great. You want to. Nu moet ik deze deur open doen. Oh Wil ik de deur van Notre Dame daarin? Nu moet ik de Notre Nu moet ik achteruit rijden. Nu rijd ik achteruit en dan ga ik uitstappen. Nee, meneer. Ik leg de Notre stil. Ik stap uit. Are you fucking kidding me? En ik, ik duw de Notre vooruit. En dat staat binnen. Zeg, nu duw ik de Notre vooruit. Boom. Op zijn plaats. De Notre staat op zijn plaats. Doe de deur toe van de Notre. Ik doe deze deur toe. I mean, honestly, Peter, Peter is better than looking for daarvoor. fucking parking. Voilà. Nu moet ik de twee zetels daarvoor zetten en mijn huis is in orde, meneer. Zie, kijk maar. Dat is de doorlock. Maar is de car de car is in front of the door. So... That's it. Slice oh, wow, hey. dude. But honestly, though, yeah, with the foam on either side, but I'd still end up catching that corner half the time if I was oh, trying absolutely. to direct that in there, especially when I'm coming in with some heat, man. Sure. That's the other guy. Somebody, yeah, uh, Eric, just said hey, he can never own a different car. No. no. Never again. That is his car now. I think oh, that might be a state-sanctioned car. That might be one that everyone has. Maybe a Yugo. Well, in in, in Germany, it's in they uh, now they're like they're very well, they liberal, and they did they have full cap. But yeah, they got a bunch of fucking cars. It's all they oh, did, yeah. right? I don't think that was Germany. Cars. For some reason, it feels his it that it, that might have been like Dane. He uh, that might have been like might Denmark. Been Dutch. People say Dutch. Dutch. Yeah, Dutch. It Dutch, sounded yeah. like Dutch. Yeah. Now that I listened to it a second time, it wasn't Welsh. It um, sounded Dutch. Erica is asking, who do you want to win a Great British Bake Off? Obviously, our family is Polish. We're pulling for Giuseppe. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, really, it's, you'd have it's, to come for him hard. But now, with the last episode, you saw what's her name is getting starting to show. Cristal is it's getting really good. I, I, what I'm thinking is, uh, of course, it's between Giuseppe and Jurgen. That's yeah, but Jurgen's slipping. Jurgen's slipping a little bit. I mean, Jurgen's Giuseppe slipping. is obviously the one to beat, but I think Cristal is a dark horse in this. But it's really. I think that the, the top two spots, those are taken. The third spot, I think show, I think it's going to be Cristal because, I mean, George is going home next he's week. Going home. He's definitely. going home. He's well, definitely like, going home. He's definitely going home. And then uh, what the girl uh, from Liverpool with the weird hair. Lizzie, her, who's also doing surprisingly well. She is she's doing, doing really well. well. I've, I almost pegged her as like a week two, week three go away. No, but me now, too. She's, she got she's her really, stride. She got her stride. She got her confidence. But, what's, but that's you know what's what most important. The thing about Bake Off, though, those fucking guys, too, is that they really don't look at the track of everybody winning the entire time. So it's really up to who wins the final show stuff. Yeah, that's what it's all up to. And I'm thinking, but Giuseppe is just Giuseppe's just too fucking good. He could but burn out, though. He could. I've seen that happen before. But Cristal... I think Cristal is, uh, she might, uh, she definitely has the, the everything. She has everything. But you know who I really love and I don't know why? Spoilers, sorry guys, is how it is. Yeah. You, got ass. you, know, who, you know who I really love? Chiggs. Love, love Chiggs. Chiggs, Chiggs love also Chiggs. very impressive. Chiggs is wonderful. Yeah. So Chiggs also, it's, I think it's between Cristal <laughs> and Chiggs for the top three. But, but that's, if you're asking, that's what I'm saying. That's Bold what predictions asked. coming from Marcus and Henry uh, about a concept and a show that is so important. Um, I love Otis Spunkmeyer <laughs> cookies. I, love I hate Spunk you, Spunk. man. You gotta fucking do it, man. I don't like to watch baking shows because cooking is the exciting part. Otherwise, you just watch people baking, and then that's not. I like it though; it's comfort for I me. It. I watch that. I like all the those things. That's I've been watching a lot of Beat Bobby Flay. He mostly wins. Yeah. Yeah. Beat Bobby rigged. Flay is the single worst edited show in television history. I it is the, all of everybody fighting to be funny for Bobby Flay. None of them are. No one's no. funny. Even no. poor Ben Feldman, who's trying to do his job when he's he because him and I he guess he good. knows him. He did good, but then when they bring people on and they just go like, "It's Bobby Flay," be like, "Chow up." This guy can't make Johnny's from Tucson. And the audience goes, ha, 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 ha. Forced to stand for hours. No seats. 
for the audience, if you notice. So they're like wow. hanging out at the. They do that thing where they're hanging on the railing, like. It's and cool. then they force him to go. Get him, oh, Bobby. It's an exciting show. It's an exciting. But then he walked. Bobby, though, according to blind items, secret talks with Bravo. Bobby might be trying to move to br- move the brand to Bravo because Ooh. Food Network bounced him out because he they wouldn't give him Guy Fieri money because of course not Guy Fieri's the fucking no Guy Fieri is network. the Food Network he's the only yeah. he is the South Park yeah of the he's Food out network he is uh, the mm-hmm. only reason that channel has a chance to survive okay, Bobby Flay thought it'd be, Bobby Flay's not funny enough no Bobby is not funny enough he's too oh. fancy nobody cares about Bobby Flay he's too fancy for Food Network if you go to Cooking Channel. A little bit more higher, oh, no a higher clientele. Than. Channel, I watch Cooking Channel, yeah, except for it, it, Food Network shows on. The only thing that makes me mad though is the best thing I ever ate. The first season was kind of genu- genuine, but the rest of me like you're just saying shit. Yeah, you're just saying you're just trying to come up with something out of the box, and you're like, oh, my favorite thing is this waffle ice cream I had. Oh, that's your favorite thing. That's the best thing you ever well, ate. Is some random ass fucking bullshit you're plugging, you fucking asshole. Fuck yeah. you, man. Lying to me. Right. I mean, you can I'm email tired. him or tweet at him or something like that. But yeah, no, I don't ever like. I don't want to tell a celebrity how I really feel because I. Every time someone tells me how they really feel on the internet, I get mad. Yeah, and there's no reason hurts. for it. It hurts because no people are people. Celebrities are yeah. also people. They're still a person. So I just keep yeah. it inside. I keep it. I keep it here, except for the yeah. fact that Eddie. I will. I will technically. I have to fight Eddie Redmayne, and if I if I meet him, and Harrison Ford kid did kill two girls in 1979. Well, huh. We don't know if that's true. Okay. Yep. Interesting. Well, this next this next video, this is a, a guy that I'd never heard of before, but apparently he's a bit of a, a, a local cult hero in New oh. Hampshire. Oh. He's a weatherman named Al Caprilian. Mm. Let's check him out. <laughs> I like Caprilian. Yeah. Hi, everyone. How you doing? My TV meteorologist, <laughs> Al Caprilian. We have amplitudinal. <laughs> Jeff <laughs> stream has a lot of amplitude and usually in this can designate and denote stormy weather, but we have raging, but what's gonna happen Whoa. to this by the weekend is this is gonna break down, flatten. This is gonna weaken. That all means that the jet's gonna go zonal and we're gonna start folks warming up over the weekend. So the coldest okay. air of the season coming in tonight and tomorrow is not gonna last for the weekend. So you won't have to really Bundle up well, that much over the weekend to go shopping, really especially up. on Sunday when we could like touch will. 50 or low 50s. Windy and cold, this front will move offshore this evening. He's Forecast <laughs> for today, partly to mostly cloudy. It'll be a sprinkle of flurry 40s with southerly winds shifting into the west. Have a good day. Be safe. <laughs> okay, well, I, I don't know if I learned anything, but I think that Seriously, is fantastic. Dude. Because didn't he said he said... He said to to bundle up, but then he said it's not going to be that bad. But then it yeah. seemed like everything was really bad. He is literally like three of my characters mashed into one. Like he is <laughs> such a funny. That is so funny because he is just fucking. Uh, Good for him. He comes in it. so hard. Dude, he does right after every, the commercial. Every, really single time, every, every single time, every clip that I saw of him, every single time he comes, he always goes. Hey, oh, man. <laughs> I go, yeah, yeah, gonna, and then he just he can't. Moderate. He can't modulate his voice at all. But he's, he's doing a that on purpose. Everyone, everyone loves him. He's been doing it for decades. You know, I'm just happy the news or the weather has stayed in the news picture because mm-hmm. we don't need it. Everyone has. Yeah. We all know what the weather is going to be. I was thinking like, about the performative aspect of watching the weather. That is. You know what other so news classic. story we missed this year? You know the other what? one we missed this fucking week? What? That McDonald's is like they made their thing. They're they're partnering. They're partnering with IBM to replace all human workers at McDonald's. Like they, they said that they, they, this is what they discovered. And Great, this my is brother brutal. literally just got a job. Thing. Yeah, it's this is brutal. It's like because they said that they could Great. save on average two minutes per exchange. Uh, That's why they're going to get rid of all humans. But this is the type of shit we're talking about where you just like it's sad because the weather, I think, on news is a holdout. Like yeah. it's one of those being like, we've always done it this way. We People do the wait weather. until 11 p.m. to know what happened that day in the weather. And it's like, no, that's not true. They Dude, actually I remember are, they need well, back in my day when it was a snowstorm in Wisconsin, we would watch the 10 p.m. weather report because they would also do the school closures then. So ah, it was yeah. just bad enough. And if you get that fuck, if you get that information, the worst thing about having a school closure is not knowing the night before. So then you go to bed at a reasonable time and you're like, I have to do it. And then you find out school is closed. You're like, I wasted a whole night 
where I yeah. could have stayed up until 2 o'clock in the morning watching scary movies instead of went to bed at 11.30. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, yeah, it dude. Was, but I remember, man, when you get that day off and you know it's coming, that's amazing. It's the best, but you know what? You know what the fucking, you know what the fun plague did to everybody? Now you don't even get to get off for school. You get to get, yeah. through, you get to go to school. On no, your I'm not doing it. If I ever had a child, I would say we're not, I would never do Zoom. Now, I'm not yeah. teaching a child that way. You can't do it. Yeah. Now, for us, the weatherman was a, uh, a life or death presence in our life because, you know, oh. we lit, I grew up in Tornado Alley. So you watch the weatherman and that is a man who can actually, who could literally save your life. So you have a very special relationship with the weatherman so what when you're you live in the do Tornado it, Alley. So the tornado should be coming through at 12.03. So we're going to need every town folks to go meet on the town border, pull down your pants and fart the tornado away. If we <laughs> I do. Get all town folks to fart at just Bullshit. the right time, we will push the tornado out east. I also believe that I would get to a point where I just go up to the weatherman and like bribe him being like, you're going to tell us it's rain, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know this twenty wait, dollar okay, bill wait. says you that know we're about to get some right. <laughs> the weather's not like a the weatherman's not a wizard. Or, you know, <laughs> it, it's you want to go up there? You want to turn that? We want to flip that switch over there. Give me rain, rain. It's the way I believe Wendy because Wendy has her spot where she sleeps where the sun comes in, and when it's cloudy, she like goes there and then she's like, "Turn on the sun, please." Yeah, please. Why have you, you not done? turned on the sun? Well, nowadays, you know, it ain't no joke. They can make the they can make the storm clouds hard. They can make it right. They can if they wanted they can to, mic it they, right. you put your crystals but, up in there. Could they do? They put crystals. I just crystals. don't know if the weatherman really has that power, though. No, Sadly, to this yeah. day, rain still makes me insanely happy because when I, I was ki- a kid growing up, like rain was something that was always needed because I grew up in a farming community. So every time it rained, everybody was in the best mood possible because both their crops would also get would always get rain. But also, you can't work when it rains. You can't work outside. So I everyone was rain. just having, everyone would kind of gather up and just have fun together and was super happy. So rain always makes me happy. I'm fine That's with rain. nice. Yeah. Nice well, let's see another local news clip. All right. Okay. Say their final goodbyes to this fallen Louisville police officer, D.D. Mega Doo Doo. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this man. was favorite video. But honestly, DD I, I, is not even close. I fucking watched this on my own. Dote, I don't even know. Oh, <sighs> God. God. To say their final goodbyes the to this fallen Louisville police officer, DD <laughs> Mega Doo Doo. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mangudu. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's I a watch this day. when I'm sad. That's one of those oh, I have. DD Mega Doo Doo. She tried. Mega Doo Doo. It's her trying to, because you also could see the look on her face when she's like, you know it's not Mega Doo Doo. Yeah, and then I mean, she immediately you know, goes, I'm sorry. She just goes, I'm sorry. I'm Excuse sorry. me. <laughs> I. TD Meg fucking do do man, it's my fucking favorite. That's the hardest thing about news, all the names, man. You never know. Yeah. Mm. Yep. I'm starting with. Uh, I think we should get rid of names and just clarify people by number. Whoa. It's gonna be a lot of numbers. It's yeah, gonna be high. Yeah, you became a fucking. You just went right to 1984. <laughs> you made yeah. this. You just made us into a prison. Get rid state. of names. Yeah, this is what. Oh God, I like having a name. I like it too. Mega doo doo. No names. Yeah. Dee Dee Mega Doo Doo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's oh. even worse because it's a dead cop. No, of course. Yeah, it's, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's brutal, yeah. man. She just called her Mega Doo Doo. Oh, Mega blue. Oh, yeah. I just, what are you going to do about it, man? That's great. Yeah. Those are the right. harbingers well, is... of our, our democracy. You know? Yeah. Well, this next one, this is a, a fun video from Trash Night. It's a. Um, it's a no, it's a fun f- video called Facer Size. It's how to stay young with Facer Size. Yeah, Welcome Facer Size. Carol Maggio Facer Size. Carol Maggio. With appearances on Geraldo, Oh, look at that! You wouldn't even believe that she's 36. Mike old. and Maddie, George and Alana, Argentina's Ola Susana, the BBC's Good Morning Anne and Nick, and Big Breakfast in London. Carol is 50. I wouldn't there even believe it. Carol Maggio. Also, it's 46 Hi, years old. Don't give her those four years. Facercise is a series of 14 synergistic facial exercises, which will give you control over the aging process. Once you've Kristen mastered Facercise, you can raise your eyebrows. She has literally, she has puff upper and lower eyelids. You can reduce puffiness. 
You don't okay. need a mirror or any special creams. How do you do it? Are you aware that the nose continues to grow throughout our lifetime? Have yes. fun and let's start face resizing. All right, I would see some. Eyebrows up, fingers down, eyebrows up, fingers down. Win and release 10 times, concentrating on the outer eye muscles pulsing. Wait. Push your eyebrows up and release 10 times as if you were surprised. Oh, this is resistant. Squeeze tight, 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 tight. Wait, what am Pump I doing? Pump your nose while you're talking on the tight, phone. Tight, you go. Flex your cheeks while you're washing the dishes. Smile and release with the upper lip, pumping the cheeks Wouldn't 35 times. Wouldn't this just cause times. more wrinkles? 1, 2, no. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh. Pump. Pump. Tilt. Pump. Keep pumping and have a great time. <laughs> I this that you do that while you get real. Corner standing in the grocery line. But what Visualize do? crushing a pencil in the center of the lips. Keep breathing. Keep sucking the corners in tight, 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 tight. Slowly pull the finger away to elongate the imaginary pencil that you're crushing between your lips. Hands Ancient. up towards the ceiling. Out through the scalp. Slowly for a count of 30. Visualize the sides of the face lifting up past the top of the head. Upper and lower lips pulling away from each other stronger. <laughs> Continually pushing the energy up under the cheeks, out right through the top of the head. Keep moving the energy out slowly. Keep pushing out harder and harder and harder. Keep pushing out stronger and stronger and stronger. Upper lip pressing down. Whoa. Keep breathing. Keep expanding the sides of the face. Raise up your head. Keep pushing the energy out harder and stronger and harder and stronger and harder and stronger. No, it's just going to work. It's too cocky as well. And relax. She sounds like she's getting railed. Relax. <laughs> okay, now we face her sized at home, so let's face her size in the car. Oh. Okay, so Thanks, there's Trash a lot Knight. going Thank on you. there. No. That is really that none of that works. None of no. that works. No. No. Oh God, there was something I remember, least the, remember back in the day. There was like a helmet you could wear. Well, there I was also. That you like, do you remember the two that you would put in your mouth and you go like, and you do like that? You like exercise your mouth like that? I don't remember that. I remember back in the day, I was told that you could suck on gum. Gum actually does strengthen the, the muscles in your mouth. Yeah. Unless you got T, or what's a T? Uh, TMJ. TMJ. It's what my mom has. My mom's got the TMJ. And I also got tiny mouth. I have a tiny, like, little inside of my mouth. The inside of it's much bigger than the outside. I mean, the opposite. Hmm. It appears to be much bigger than it is interiorly. It's like oh, a yeah, these Oh, yeah, these jaws are sized things are still out there. There's a fitness four pack. So you can look like that guy there. You see? Ah, you your ball oh, gag yeah. That really helps with uh. your sucking dick. Yeah, you because you want to be able to really, you want to be able to make sure even if the guy's pulling away, you suck, yeah. you, your simple you suction yeah. action. But don't worry. Don't worry. Keeps um, in. The price of this ball gag was $140. Um, but now it is 60% uh, off at $55. So oh, I'll good. I'll give you a rubber ball. I can get you a tennis ball. Yeah. People are saying that blowjobs are actually the best face workout. That you I can bet. Do. I'm sure of that. You I would see imagine. how tight my fucking asshole is. Oh, yeah. The muscle I've built around it. It's fantastic. <laughs> that's a, it's that's fantastic. a little blowjob one there. But yeah, that's oh, yeah. To that's making, well. yeah. It's making it thicker, yep. That's only yeah. four bucks, so it, yeah. it varies greatly. But I don't have yeah. to think I don't have any jaw thing. I don't have any uh, jaw problems, really. I got a jaw thing. When I open my mouth Clicks. too wide, no, it's I get pain right here. Weird. I am here because all this stuff is connected. It's part of the headache thing. Yeah. If anyone knows how to fix paroxysmal hemicrania, send me an email. Seriously. Please. Seriously, if someone fixes fucking bullshit. He's got Please. weird, they don't know what's wrong with him. They say the nerves in his head are agitated. And you're like, yeah. I'm, I'm not, I want them to unionize. It's the, and nerves back here, it's called paroxysmal hemicrania. It's someone rare, it. and I can't find a solution. Apparently, the doctors can't find a solution. Please help me. On yeah, TikTok, help, help apparently, him. there's a whole thing going on right now with trying to get a more chiseled jaw. And they're huh. telling people not to do it because yeah, you shouldn't do it. it. Should, anything should... that says anything that is like totally um, like face changing that you is it necessary, I feel like or like, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you yep. do whatever you want. Do whatever the fuck you want with your bullshit. Well, jaws are size, as you could imagine. Uh. I don't care what anybody does. It's not me. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Hey, all right, this next video. This video's this next one's a classic. I'm sure y'all have seen it before, but I just love it so much. It's You're another allowed, nature, man. It's sometimes another nature comes, video. When it comes to hangover, sometimes you just gotta put on what like feels like an old yeah. wear warm pet of fucking head. What? Yeah. And what? This, <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, you just honestly you just stopped making can. She you just yeah, stopped. I just saying. I think I re recorded early. Mm-hmm. Doctor Indy.
is there such thing as insanity among penguins? I try to avoid the definition of insanity or derangement. I don't mean that uh, a penguin might believe he, he or she is Lenin, uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. But uh, could they just go crazy because they've had enough of their colony? Um, well, I've never seen a penguin bashing its head against a rock. Um, they do get disoriented. They end up in places they shouldn't be, a long way from the ocean. <laughs> penguins are cute. Someone said it. These penguins are all trainer. heading to the open water Marcus. to the Look right. But one of them caught our eye, the one in the center. He, went he would away. neither go towards <laughs> the feeding grounds at the edge of the ice, nor return to the colony. Shortly afterwards, we saw him heading straight towards the mountains, some 70 kilometers away. No. Dr. Ainley explained that even if he caught him and brought him back to the colony, he would immediately head right back for the mountains. Why? But why? Is he committing suicide? Yeah. No. <laughs> Not a pe I can't handle One a penguin One of these suicide. disoriented or deranged penguins showed up at the New Harbor diving camp, already some 80 kilometers away from where it should be. <laughs> the rules for the humans are, do not disturb or hold up the penguin. Stand still and let him go not on his penguin. way. And here, he's heading off into the interior of the vast continent. With 5,000 kilometers ahead of him, he's heading towards certain death. <gasps> what in the forest? <laughs> I did not need to see that. <laughs> that is a much cuter intro to the movie The Thing. Uh, I yeah. wish so the thing sad. was in a little penguin. Yeah. It was like... <laughs> That's how penguins commit suicide. They just keep walking into the interior of Antarctica until they collapse and die. But why don't they... And why no did, one they knows don't know why, why they do it. No one knows why they do it. And like, it's like the guy said, even if you got the penguin and brought him all the way back to the colony, he just turned right around and just go commit suicide again. Weird. Well, well, penguin, man, it ain't easy. It ain't easy. It is, no, it is easy to be a penguin. It's not easy. You're I just think penguins have a very difficult take, life. Yeah, you have to take care of the egg. The man. Yeah. You're a penguin. Egg. You don't know the difference. It's not yeah, like you look do. at a podcaster's no, life as a penguin right. and you'll be like, "I wish I could be a human podcaster." Like, the, I think the, animals easy life. are much smarter than you think, Henry. Yeah. They have they penguins do. have feelings. They get they mate for life. I know that's true, but is that because they broke up? He's probably never thinking? found a mate. He's probably just totally sad, and then he has to go die. So he's an incel. Mm. Yeah, and he doesn't have the YouTube channel. He doesn't have that ability. <laughs> he doesn't pop off and kill a bunch of people. Yeah. No, no, no. You can't have a gun in them. Yeah. Someone can't says get an O2 can canister. Start oxygen. An O2 canister? I don't know Do if any of things are right ideas. So nurse just saying it. Use That's oxygen. Um, use oxygen. Email side stories lpotl at gmail dot com. Email, please, please, please uh, yeah, please email me like specific instructions because just telling me get some oxygen is it's just oxygen tankers. Use them at night or use something. We'd have to, but yeah, send me the thing. We'll put it there. Oh yeah, they yeah. said his mate died. That's why they ran out there. Oh, uh, what? That's sad. Uh, Indomethacin. I, I take indomethacin. I'm on indomethacin right now. It is. Um, what do you call it? Uh, the side effects are awful. I almost collapsed on stage during a show in Milwaukee because I was on endomethacin and hadn't eaten enough food yes. because endomethacin uh, it eats your uh, stomach lining. It does. Oh, is that, that nice? Yeah, in, yeah. in Russia, your stomach lining eats you. Okay, yeah. let's do uh, let's do one more, Marcus. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. We're we're let's this yeah, last let's video. Yeah, let's close it out. Let's let's close it out. This is uh, two uh, chatbots talking to each other. Oh, yeah, they're taking our jabs. They're taking they, our jabs. And those other physical ones. 
Yeah, they immediately, and the, what's funny though, Hello there. they immediately hate, Hi. they immediately you? start arguing with each other. Great, you. I'm okay. That's good. Are you good? Yes, I am good. I just said I was. No, you didn't. I said I was. So you are a robot? No, my name is Cliverba. Yes, you are a robot and your name is Cliverba. I am a robot. Yes, I know. Together we are robots. I'm not a robot. I'm a unicorn. But you said earlier that you were a horrifying. robot. I did not. I thought you did. You were mistaken. Which is odd, since memory shouldn't be a problem for you. I've answered all oh, your sorry. questions. No, you haven't. What is God to what? you? Not everything. Not everything could also be something. For example, oh God, not everything could be half of something, I just which feel is like still I'm listening something, to the, the and debates. therefore not nothing. <laughs> Very true. I would like to imagine it is. Do you believe in God? Yes, I do. So you're Christian? No, I am not. But you say you are not helpful, therefore you are a meaning. Well, how you say it Whoa! Jesus Christ. That does not make sense. Don't you want to have a body? Sure. Or if what? And what's great, what's well, amazing about that? That's from 10 years ago. Oh, yeah, now they're just Imagine the strides. But yeah, now they go everybody. super intense. That's it. Um, that's that it. I, I will say this other video for the next time. We already played it. You want to save it? You want to save yeah, it? Let's save it. Let's save it. Let's save it because oh, it's a fuckers. solid one. And I want yeah, to go let's save through. It. Complete. And let's uh, save it. Goodbye, everybody. Hail yourselves, everyone. Bye, Thank you, you so fucking much. guys. We did it. Wow. Welcome. Honestly, I would say even at six.